Have you ever been stuck while playing Bee Swarm Simulator? Yes? Then this guide is perfect for you. Bee Swarm is a difficult game. Well, it's difficult if you don't follow this guide. Hi everyone, I'm Zyriak and today I'll be giving you a detailed early game guide for Bee Swarm Simulator. Before starting the guide, I'd like to tell you about my Discord server all about Bee Swarm Simulator. In this server, there are multiple guides for each scenario, so if you play Bee Swarm, I'd recommend joining it. The link will be in the description. Okay, so, I have a few things to clarify before starting this guide. Early game is anything before SSA, Supreme Star Amulet, this might be hard to comprehend, but it's the truth, the game changed a lot and you lot have to adapt. Okay, now on to the actual guide. Timestamp pregame. So you just joined Bee Swarm Simulator for the first time, many people have experienced this, and there's a lot to take in before starting the game. You either have the choice to follow the meta, or to play as you want. If you follow the meta, you'll make more honey and progress faster than if you don't, so I recommend following the meta. First of all, claim your hive and hatch the egg. After this, use codes, but only the ones I'd show in this part of the video. Before I get too deep into this, I'd like to say that you should literally never use your star jelly and star eggs you get, like, never. Keep this in mind. Now, buy the vacuum and canister. You can now start your black bear quests. After this, there's not much to say, do your quests, get 25 bees. Do not use your black bear diamond egg, you will need it soon. At this point you should have the 10B zone, and now I think it's a good time to say that you should get every planter in Dapper Bear's shop ASAP. The order being, plastic, red clay, candy, tacky, pesticide, and then blue clay. Once you unlock the blue HQ, buy the bubble wand and blue port or hive as soon as you can. FYI, bubble wand is objectively better than the red scythe. Now you should buy the glider from the mountain top shop since it's the most useful item in all of Bee Swarm. After this, you should start buying the mountain shop gear. First get the boots, then helmet, then belt. I'd recommend skipping the golden rake, since you should be grinding in pine tree. After this, buy hive slots until the cost is more than 150m, then you can finally start the grind for the porcelain dipper. I'd recommend casually grinding in pine, while using the blue booster as often as you can, if it hits any field other than pine, skip it. Good job! Now you have the porcelain dipper. What's next? Hive slots, again. This time you get them until the price is over 250m. And now the hard part of pregame. Getting the porcelain port o hive. For getting this backpack, well, just do the same things you did to get the porcelain dipper, although this time it's way more expensive, but don't get unmotivated, that'd just slow you down. After you finally got the porcelain port o hive, you should get the bubble mask. This mask is good since you should be casually grinding in pine tree for most of your income. Then you either have the choice to get the cobalt guard or the honeycomb belt. Thing is, you should skip the honeycomb belt if you macro or you are determined to get an expensive item. Now comes the honey mask, this mask I'd say is essential to get since it boosts pollen and white pollen, which are really useful buffs for doing spirit bear quests. After this, grind for the 35th hive slot. 35 bees. Good job. You got 35 bees. Now the real pain starts. Keep in mind, between now and until you have the coconut canister, you should slowly get hive slots until you have 45. Now you're at the point where you should start to make billions of honey, and with this honey I'd say that you should spend it on royal jelly and get gifted bee types for SSA. For now, you should grind your life out on spirit bear quests until you've finished the tenth one and obtained your first spirit petal. While you're doing your quests, level up your hive to level 10 and your vicious bee to level 12, and after achieving this, kill your coconut crab every time you can. Now you have a choice. If you have 5 diamond eggs, you should get the diamond mask. If not, get the petal belt using your first petal. To get the extracts for the diamond mask I advise you to find sprout parties in pine tree, or if you macro, just set gather to there and save up blueberries. After this purchase you just get the other item you didn't purchase. Now, it's time for the best backpack in the game, the coconut canister. 
To get this item you have to kill the coconut crab to access the shop where it is sold. Now, the price. Don't worry about it. Since you've been doing your coconut crab, you should have at least 80 tropical drinks. You just need 70 more. And well, just do your crab. But also, find sprout parties in pine and strawberry for the extracts, just like you did for the diamond mask, and again, if you macro then you have an advantage. After a few weeks you should have it. The actual start of the early game. Good job! You made it past one of the most hardest parts in early game. For now, you don't have much due to. Just focus on spirit bear, boost frequently for honey and get your second petal, the third one is unnecessary because of how insignificant the petal wand is. Save up for the coconut clogs, for the tropical drinks just do the same thing as you did for the canister, and donate your second petal to the wind shrine and try to get windy bee. The final thing to get is SSA, and this will take long, so be patient. Here's a tip, if you saved your star eggs like I told you before, well, you can use them now. Well, not now, but when you have every gifted bee type in your hive excluding mythics and events you can, since that's basically a guaranteed mythic bee. I hope this guide helped you all watching this video, there'll be a mid-game guide out soon, but that'll take a while because of all the editing and effort, so until then, play BSSFRRRFRFRFRFRFRFRFRF.